Overlooking the Hollywood sign, Barnstall Art Park in East Hollywood has been hosting Friday night wine tastings to fundraise for its adult and youth art programs. Families and friends attended an event filled with music, wine tasting, food trucks and activities for children, including juice box tasting and an arts and crafts corner. Hudson Morris is Vice President of Fundraising and Outreach of the Barnstall Art Park Foundation. She says that without these fundraising events, the programs they provide are at risk of going away. We found ourselves at the mercy of the city budgets being cut, and when it comes down to making tough choices between city services, one of the first things to go is like the arts and parks and where it's not necessarily considered critical. The event, which holds hundreds of people, has been sold out almost every time. For only $26, adults get to taste four different wines provided by Silver Lake Wine while enjoying the view of the city. Children get to play and dance around to the music of a volunteer KCRW DJ. Dan Johnson and his son Wesley have come to support the park several times this summer. When you come, it's, uh, you're already having a good time and, uh, and you have a little more altruistic vision when you're drinking wine and you get to support the arts too, so it's nice. Owner of the winery, Randy Clement, also brings his children to the park and supports its efforts to save the arts with wine. You know, like the fact that like th this event does this for the park as well as like when, when people aren't here on other days to bring their kids up here for the art classes, it's great. Like I have two sons and they always say, let's go to Barnsdale, Papa, and you know, they, they like it. And they, I mean, it's just like cool because they'll always remember coming up here when they were little. By the end of the night, attendees not only got to drink wine in the park, but also helped expand some of the types of arts Barnsdale is able to teach community members. For Valley View News, this is Karen Guzelian.